Living in this technological era, the evolution of technology shifted the world to become more interconnected than ever. Through technological advancement, internet was created in 1950s, where the public are able to access it to search for information. The dark web was developed by the US Navy for the government in the mid-1990s, but it was open source in 2004 and that's when it went to public. Tor, or the Onion Router, is now the dark web browser that the vast majority of people use to anonymously surf the internet. So what is the dark web? The dark web is a collection of websites which could not be found on an encrypted computer. It is only accessible with Tor browser as most of the web pages are on Onion sites. Think of the internet as an iceberg. At the tip of an iceberg is the surface web that most people are familiar with. The first layer is the surface web. Surface web is where websites are indexed. This layer is where users typically search for entertainment, clothing, food, gadgets, home products, media social platforms, and so forth exist here. However, the deep web, which is the second layer, is part of the web that is not loaded up with sites that are indexed. In other words, your typical Bing or Google search engine will not pop up the results. But the deep web is quite common for people to access. It's just that most people are not aware that they are in the deep web. For instance, each time you sign in into an online bank account or send a private message to a Facebook friend, you are accessing the deep web. Put it simply, you are in the deep web whenever you are using specific URL, password, and login credentials on certain pages. The third layer, the dark web, is considered as the deep trench of the internet. Since the dark web is totally anonymous, its pages is not accessible by your typical search engine, as most of dark web pages are onion web pages. The intention of this part of the web is anonymous, makes the dark web sound like an ending ground for criminals to conduct their illegal activities. Truth to be told, it is quite common for a person's digital footprint get stolen from a deep web and sold in a dark web. Now you might be wondering, is your identity being sold in a dark web? So what are the ways to access the dark web? In order to access the dark web, you need to download Tor or known as the Onion Router. Without Tor browser, you can't access the dark web as the websites in the dark web are mostly dot onion websites. For extra security measure, use VPN, disable JavaScript or any software that runs on web browser, such as Unity Player, Adobe Flash Player, and many other more. Remember, never download any files from the dark web as it might contain Trojan viruses. Now you might be questioning what can be done in the dark web. Anything you know about illegal activities, you name it, you have it. Despite the negativity of the dark web, there are several advantages of using the dark web. For instance, whistleblower, police, journalists uses dark web to store data in order to avoid leakage of sensitive data. Information leakers likewise can disclose proprietary or classify information and their identities would never be known. Darknet hacktivists, vigilantes also roam the territory in pursuit of villains and villainous sites. A hacktivist operation took down a child porn site, frontier justice cyber style, you might say. The destructive hacking of the sites became unethical and maybe illegal because there was no trial by the jury. There are many risks associated with accessing the dark web. On individual level, you can become vulnerable to malware, viruses, and identity theft. And also, you are attracting the attention of government, bodies like the police, CIA to keep you on the watch list. However, on community and country level, the content found on the dark web, from porn to contacts for hired killers, erodes society's moral values, along with corroding the young's minds and threatens the community safety. On international level, the dark web can also threaten a country's national security because people can leak top secret information to terrorists, hackers, or other countries. 
Now that you have known what is the dark web, will you access it? Why do you want to access it? Importantly, what are you doing in there?